नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस फ्राइडे एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम आनंद नरसिम्हन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द कांग्रेस एमपी फ्रॉम वायनाड राहुल गांधी हैज बीन डिस्कालीफाइड डिस्कालीफाइड सून आफ्टर द जजमेंट बाय अ सूरत कोर्ट दैट हेल्ड हिम गिल्टी एंड कन्विक्टेड हिम ऑन द चार्जेस ऑफ क्रिमिनल डेफमेशन सेंटेंसिंग हिम टू टू ईयर्स इन जेल दैट्स द मैक्सिमम पनिशमेंट and thereafter giving him an immediate relief in terms of bail on a bail bond of 15000 rupees rahul gandhi disqualified from lok sabha a day after this in this development in that defamation case a notice has been issued by the lok sabha secretariat and that said he stood disqualified from the house from the 23rd of march onwards the day of his conviction now rahul gandhi will have to move a higher court to get his conviction stayed meanwhile the congress has called it a conspiracy to silence the former Wayanad MP while the BJP has said that the conviction has come from an independent judiciary after Rahul Gandhi insulted the entire OBC community with his sare modi chor remark remember Rahul Gandhi was convicted for his all thieves have the modi surname that was what he had said at his uh, election rally in 2019 at Kolar in Karnataka and this was allegedly made during that campaign and this is what the intent now there has been a case and this has been going on in the courts hearings have been going on for nearly 3 years but this is the development soon after the judgment now why has rahul gandhi been disqualified the first reason is that in 2013 the supreme court struck down section 8 part 4 part 4 of section 8 of the representation of people's act which actually allowed 3 months to an mp and the court said in this case of lily thomas versus union of india the court said no mp will get or no parliamentarian will get special treatment common man and the parliamentarian will be the same the supreme court held 8 part 4 of the rp act or representations of the representation of people act as unconstitutional third reason as per the supreme court's order a convicted mp with two or more years of a jail term loses membership immediately reason for as per the supreme court's order the convicted mp loses membership with immediate effect as per the 2013 supreme court order mps don't have 3 months to appeal for the conviction what does happen is that the mps have the right to appeal which even in this case the court has granted it's a suspended sentence that means he's the jail term won't be imposed to him for a period of 30 days doesn't kick in and he's got the right to appeal in a higher court If Mr Rahul Gandhi gets relief from a higher court then he will be reinstated What it means he won't be able to contest Lok Sabha 2024 at this point if conviction is not overturned he can't contest for a period of 8 years Congress can play the victim card and accuse the BJP of misusing law the opposition may rally around the Congress party for 2024 So this entire aspect of sympathy. So the political aspect is different. The legal implications are different. Congress is going to make use of this politically. That is the indications. That's what experts believe. Right now, the Congress is saying this is vindictive vendetta that is being unleashed by the current disposition. The speed with which he is being disqualified. That's where it's coming from. What next? Option one: move the sessions court for a stay on the conviction because it's not just a stay on the sentence. Mr Rahul Gandhi has to procure a stay on the conviction itself. Secondly, approach the president to challenge the disqualification which according to the rule book has been the rule book has been followed. There have been instances where MLAs have been similarly been disqualified. <coughs> Option 3, move the Supreme Court under special leave petition. Option 4, cite article 32 to seek justice in the Supreme Court if rights are unduly deprived. So these are the options. Rahul Gandhi disqualified is the hashtag Rahul disqualified what next for the Gandhi sign is the question that remains is this vendetta or just following due procedure let's get into this face off straight up Sanju Verma national spokesperson of the BJP is with us and Sanjay Jha political analyst is also with us Namaste to the lady and the gentleman Jai Hind to both of you may I request you you have 20 minutes and it's just the two of you I request it to be a civil debate. I will speak less, you people speak more and I'm offering it right up. But please, let's not have personal jibes. I'm putting out these disqualifiers. Let's have arguments and counters and let's try and be civil. I know both of you 
are able enough and erudite enough to be able to do that. Thank you very much. And with the smile we get into this political debate, even if matters heat up, please maintain this for, it's my request. Sanju Verma ji, itni tatparta dikha di, kal sada hui, kal faisla aya, aaj hi nilambit kar diya. This is to, aap ghussa nikal rahe hain. Anand ji, pehle to bolna chahungi that uh, what a, a brilliant introduction summarizing the entire issue uh, in, uh, you know, five crisp sentences, uh, which is so typical of you. Uh, I just have this to say, uh, as you rightly said, uh, without being very verbose, uh, you know, uh, first and foremost, Rahul Gandhi ko badhai dena chahungi. Uh, you can accuse me of being sardonic and sarcastic, uh, but the fact is that Rahul Gandhi today is uh, that rare politician who is out on bail uh, after having been accused in the National Herald scam and is also one of the rare politicians who is now a convict out on bail. Uh, and Rahul Gandhi joins the halo company of his grandmother Indira Gandhi who was disqualified on 12th June 1975 by the uh, you know Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court then Jagmohan Lal Sinha. And we all know that by 25th June 1975, Indira Gandhi had imposed emergency. But 48 years later, emergency to lagne se rahi. Ha, Congress is, uh, you know, obviously suffering from uh, this victimhood uh, uh, narrative uh, which they have been peddling. I will just say this. Hmm. Point number one, Rahul Gandhi hmm. is not somebody who has done this out of sheer oversight. Jab ek bar galti hoti hai, many times people say things uh, during the heat of the moment and they later in hindsight regret. Mm. But if you recall Anand, Rahul Gandhi has been a habitual offender. And I will take you to the judgment by the Patna High Court in 2019 July. That case was also pertaining to this very case where Rahul Gandhi had said that these all people whose name is Modi, uh, surname hai, Modi, 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 why are they all people? The Patna High Court uh, had given him uh, you know, a clean chit and asked him that does he want to express regret look at the audacity he said no but now karma came to bite him patna high court ne to 2019 mein rahul gandhi ko clean chit de diya but in 2023 for that same case surat district court found him guilty convicted him for two years due to which under article 1021e of the constitution he stands to be disqualified immediately from the date right. of judgment that is from 23rd March 2023 onwards. So there is no need to play a victimhood narrative. If you want, move the special leave petition, go to uh, the Supreme Court, knock on their doors, ask the president uh, to uh, right. overturn the judgment. But don't sit here and say that democracy khatre mein hai. The right to criticize does not mean the right to abuse. And it is high time Rahul Gandhi learns the difference right. between criticism and using the Prime Minister of this country. Sanjay Jha. Uh, Anand, uh, thank you very much for inviting me and I promise to adhere to your expectations of uh, being extremely uh, pleasant and making no interruptions when anybody speaks. Uh, I will just take two minutes max. There is a famous saying, Anand, Vinash Kale Viprit Buddhi. And I can tell you that the BJP, clearly drunk on the arrogance of power, is probably behaving in an insanely bizarre fashion. And I refer to the outbursts of the leaders and particularly the haste with which they begin to celebrate uh, attacks on Rahul Gandhi. Desh ke gadaro ko goli maro salo ko. The gentleman who uttered these highly provocative vulgar, crude, an attempt to try and polarize community is suited, booted. This gentleman is apparently in several programs. No FIR has been lodged against him. If the Congress party were to today make a complete library of the hate speeches uttered by BJP leaders, starting from the top downwards, and file criminal defamation cases against them for disgusting talk, insulting the Gandhi family name, making absolutely vulgar statements, some very dangerous in their communal overtones. I can tell you many people in the BJP, including those in the cabinet, 
would find themselves without being a member of parliament or maybe even in the jail hmm. but is that the kind of political culture we want anand and i do believe that what the bjp has done because it at the moment believes is unstoppable hmm. but the truth is but the truth is a week is a long time in politics ever since rahul gandhi exposed this whole adani issue which now today is a global talking point and it links to the prime minister mr modi i think the bjp has been rattled and rahul gandhi has got under their skin uh, i hmm. believe i One believe minute. it is a turn this this day is a tectonic turning point in indian politics and i'm going to make a slight prediction for you here hmm. you know there, there is a saying somewhere down the line in english we call it the political kiss of death hmm. sometimes you self destruct because you're so paranoid and insecure hmm. you begin to repress and threaten everybody around you what the bjp has done today anand is very simple one they have united an opposition that is determined to defeat the bjp in 2024 number 2 the congress is galvanized to take the bjp on not just in television studios but on the streets and i think beginning karnataka elections you see the turn around in indian politics right. so i believe bjp yeah. is going to pay a price for this authoritarian character hmm. sooner rather than later is going to boomerang okay. in the face okay let sanju verma counter let sanju verma thank you yes sanju verma thank you anand anand actually it's good to have this very same debate Uh, because uh, you know sanjay jha and me obviously are always at the opposite ends of the divide and uh, i will very uh, sanely uh, you know respond to uh, what he said let's be very clear that this entire adani bruhaha is a whole lot of hogwash and i'll tell you why the supreme court earlier this month constituted a seven member committee under the aegis of justice sapre who was earlier the chief justice of guwahati and manipur high court Uh, ex bankers like op bhat who was the chairman of sbi a very well known banker like nv kamath who was uh, the chairman of icici bank these are people who are part of the panel and let me tell you something anand hmm. that if you look at the seven member composition of this uh, committee uh, which will look into uh, the adani groups affairs uh, you know there is one gentleman who stands out uh, judge somasekhar sundaresan who is also on the board of oxfam hmm. and we all know If you just do a little bit of reading, if you just know how to look into Google, hmm. Somasekhar Sundaresan has never said a single positive thing about the Modi government. Hmm. So you know, in fact, we can cry victimhood and say, "Kya re bhai, Somasekhar Sundaresan ko Adani committee mein dalne ki kya zarurat thi? Who is the other gentleman who is part of the seven-member group? It is a bona fide congressman called Nandan Nilekani. But we have not complained, whined, sulked, raved, or ranted on national television because we believe that the law of the land is supreme. If the Supreme Court has decided that yes, sat logon ki committee banegi and they are competent enough to do the needful, so be it. Hmm. That is the difference between the Congress and the BJP. Now, point number two. I will repeat that out of the seven publicly listed companies of the Adani Group, hmm. five were brought into existence during successive Congress dispensations. Only two publicly listed companies, Adani Green and Adani Wilmar, came into existence during BJP-led NDA governments. And mind you, the hmm. first time Adani actually set up. his flagship commodity trading company rajiv gandhi was the prime minister so please do not come and peddle fake narratives because ye public hai ye sab jaanti hai ye hmm. public hai ye bahut jagruk hai and i will just end by saying one thing hmm. i am a bit baffled anand and you know you can accuse me of being a conspiracy theorist here but i am going to say something in the congress's favor do i think uh, sanjay ji hmm. does that job brilliantly uh, and no pun intended on this count Pawan Khera, when you know he was arrested, hmm. uh, the entire Congress top brass went and knocked on the doors of the Supreme Court, and a hearing was given in less than two hours. Hmm. I fail to understand that why is it that after 24 hours have passed by, the Congress has not knocked on the doors of the apex court, wanting a stay on the conviction and a stay on the sentence. So Congress ke khame ne. ये कौन सी कॉन्स्पिरेसी चल रही है इज इट ट्रू वॉट किरण रिजिजू मेनी कांग्रेसमैन आर एक्चुअली वेरी हैप्पी दैट 
ये कोर्ट की वर्डिक्ट के बाद राहुल गांधी इज आउट ऑफ द इक्वेशन बिकॉज ही वॉज डूइंग दी वर्क ऑफ देर इज अनदर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट देर इज अनदर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट दैट दिस इज नॉट अ कंस्पिरसी बट अ ग्रेट प्लान a great plan to endorse and underline what mr sanjay ji just said he said that this is galvanizing the opposition and congress has become the fulcrum of the opposition those leaders who are looking beyond the congress today are galvanizing around the congress is what mr sanjay ji just now said so is this now perhaps going to be the groundwork for rahul gandhi once again becoming the fulcrum of the opposition sanjay ji the other aspect is you have said that it's the bjp's vendetta but it's a court's verdict and criminal defamation is criminal defamation that anybody can uh, you know put go to court that's the right that's a democratic right and congress leaders have also taken others to court they have sent legal notices to a lot of people so it's not that the congress has not done it my point is a court's ruling somewhere you have to pull up the lawyers who are arguing for mr rahul gandhi no the same case if the patna high court gave relief to rahul ji why is it that the lawyers were not able to convince us urat court Anand, let me give you a short response Jee. to that. Abhishek Manu Singh, who I have great personal respect for, I think so do he's I. generally one of the one of the best lawyers in the country. Of course, he is. He is a very responsible man, and yeah. he today I thought made startling disclosures. When, if you read his comments on what he had to say about the way the Surat, you know, Sessions Court pronounced his verdict, the way it was fast tracked. the way the petitioner actually wanted a halt on his own petition you know let let that be investigated i think that's a very serious allegation and the congress has done so publicly and i really applaud the party for doing that because i think the the bigger point here is listen right now all three of us on the on the television screen are under a modi government in 2024 it could be a congress come in 29 it could be some third government but the only thing that is going to sustain our shall we say lives whether it's personal or professional mm. is got to be the institutions of this country and i think today anand that is under a severe threat today our institutions no, are but, but again again but again sanjay ji sorry i'm interrupting you i didn't want to do it okay. but my but my question but my question is the same that if if mr if abhishek manu singh has made some uh, observations about what happened in the surat court has the congress immediately moved the gujarat high court has it sought an slp in the supreme court sanju verma is also asking that in other cases you were prompt you have had the ability and abhishek manu singh ji himself in the issue in the matter of karnataka it was a 5 am hearing i was i remember i was there awake all night tracking where mr abhishek manu singh was when he argued that case and it was a landmark thing that the courts awoke at woke up at 5 in the morning to hear that case but that alacrity and that urgency is not being shown here that's also an uh, observation uh, that has been made anand let me tell you i think abhishek even mentioned that when he said that we want to not respond in a hurry mm. we want to do it in a thorough fashion because at the end of the day anand. this is not yeah, about just know, one, one minute one, just, just one minute anand. Yeah. this is not about just an ordinary Take it up, case answer. Mm. There, there is an attempt to file a criminal defamation which has its various uh, serious political repercussions which is what we are debating today but let's get to the larger point of our conversation today you have a situation where ministers are actually telling former judges of the supreme court that you could be part of some political conspiracy you have a situation where you know the supreme court is told kindly look at the basic structure of the constitution we all know about the cbi and the ed make doing 95% of its cases against opposition leaders we know how the income tax has become an instrument of terror so end of day no, let's but, be but, honest uh, about it Hey. No, I just take okay, okay, yeah, please complete. Ji, please, please yeah. complete. The truth is that the BJP has destroyed India's democratic foundations, mm. and I'm appalled. I have a lot of respect for Sanju. I mean, she and I, the, you know, have mm. pretty, you know, acrimonious clashes at times, and she has a job to do. I have a job to do as well. But the truth is. Can anybody ignore the Adani issue for only one reason? The, the, that 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 is that is that is exactly this what is, I'm trying to say. This, see, this is a financial yeah, but, see, meltdown. See, you are you are a past master. You are a past master in holding your line and, and and pushing your narrative and pushing your story. That that is why you are Sanjay Jha. I credit you there. But Sanjay Ji, there is a court monitored committee which is looking at this matter. so the politics aside there is no logic here the other aspect when you come to criminal defamation 
I am asking you, and let, let me bring in Sanju Verma. She wanted to make a point, so let her make that point. And my larger question here always remains: Mr. Rahul Gandhi's accusations were not against the Modi caste or the Modi community itself. Why couldn't he just clarify that immediately? He named two or three people whose surnames were Modi, and he made an allusion there towards two, three. But why broad brush an entire community? Was that anybody's intent, and is that anybody's intent? He hasn't done that. Uh, Correct, but my point is, why not clarify that and why not get away? Why not clarify that? Why not issue a clarification? Why not turn around and apologize to the entire Modi community, saying that my intention is never to hurt anybody's feelings? No, no, it's no big deal. I have an issue against for a certain people. I didn't want to broad brush an entire community. How difficult or easy is to make that statement or to make that take that position? I, I'm, I'm just parking. I'm, I'm just, I'm just parking it there. I'll come back to you. Sir. No. Okay. okay. Uh, he can. He could have issued that clarification report to the entire uh, this one. Sanju Verma, why have I lost you? Are you there? Uh, let, let Let me just uh, let, let's just try and get her back. Uh, ha ha. We are we are, we are, we are patching her back. I think she lost the audio. Uh, so we're yeah. getting her back. Okay, getting you back. I'm just telling her. Ha. Huh. So let, please answer this. If that's the case, let, let's take this as she joins us. If that is the case, why is it that uh, that clarification has not come? See, what's the defamation charge that you took a swipe at the entire community? How difficult Rahul is it? Rahul Gandhi hasn't done that, Anand. He hasn't done that. That's Correct. the whole point. He's commented on Lalit Modi, Nira Modi, and their proximity to Narendra Modi. He's hmm. never, he's not made any statement that maligns anybody but else. But did he or did he Modi. not say but if if not he has? But Sanjay not ji, at man, all. Sanjay ji, if he has even inadvertently on that rally said, "Ye Modi sarne wale chod kyun hote hain?" Did he intend to broad brush the entire Modi community across the country? His his answer is categorical no, and if no. I have heard that speech at least six times since yesterday, Correct. and I can tell you I'm hundred percent convinced that is not at all his intention. No. He's talking about political corruption, and Correct. I think that is the way an election Correct. campaign is done. If you look at point BJP is, leaders' comments, my point is, some of their outrageous comments. No, no, you've just we've just got you back, Sanjuji. So I I was just asking him a question because we lost you there. But my point is, Sanjay, uh, Sanjay Jha, that the Congress Party also needs the Modi community in uh, as its voter base. So to issue a statement, not even in court, outside is also very easy. It's not something which is difficult. It's not yet come. That that's what I am trying to say. Yes, Sanju Verma, okay. please. We got you back, Thank and you. yeah, you wanted to make a few points. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, Anand, I lost uh, the uh, you know audio for yeah. the last four five minutes. I will just say this. I will repeat that under Article 102.1e of the Constitution and under Clause 8.3 and Clause 8.4. Rahul Gandhi's disqualification post being convicted uh, and sentenced to two years imprisonment is absolutely bona fide. And let me tell you one very interesting thing, which your audience needs to know: that 32 MPs, MLAs, and MLCs in the last many years have been disqualified, of which two were ex-chief ministers. Lalu Prasad Yadav was disqualified, J. Jayalalitha was disqualified, and do you know out of the 32? Leaders who have been disqualified after winning elections, six are BJP MLAs. So, for anyone to say that BJP MPs and MLAs को तो कानून के लंबे हाथ हाथ नहीं लगाते, you know the entire machinery only swoops down on Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi needs to ask himself a question: Why is he a habitual and repeat offender? Do you remember Anand? And hmm. this case is still going on in trial at the Bhivandi Court in Maharashtra. Yeah. He said that the RSS and RSS ideology killed Mahatma Gandhi, and then the RSS people came to Mahatma Gandhi in the way they talk about him. He refused to apologize. Earlier during the debate, Sanjay Jha said that he has tremendous respect for Abhishek Manu Singhvi. Of course, we all know he is a seasoned lawyer. But when the Supreme Court asked Rahul Gandhi to apologize by filing an affidavit in the Chowkidar Chowar Hai Jail during the height of the Rafale controversy, let me tell your audience: he expressed regret. He did not apologize. Post which, the Supreme Court asked Abhishek Manu Singhvi to file a fresh affidavit, and in that fresh affidavit, Rahul Gandhi apologized. But he was back to saying Chowkidar Chowar Hai within two months. Post which Mirakshi Lekhi filed a contempt of court case against Rahul Gandhi. 
जिसके बाद राहुल गांधी डिसाइडेड कि अभी जुबान पर ताला लगाना जरूरी है बट द पॉइंट इज दैट यू नो राहुल गांधी डीएनए इज सच दैट ही इज अ लूज कैनन ही इज अ मोटर माउथ He does not think about the bigger interests of the country or the Congress party, which is already debilitated and electorally vanquished. Well, so Rahul Gandhi, it is I, me, myself. But point I, is, me, myself point is, 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 as face of the opposition so there is always this charge that the bjp is also propping up rahul gandhi the whole drama about rahul gandhi's apology aake apologize karna padega has also made him the first person to be spoken about so much so that now there are others who are trying to speak a similar language thinking they will get the same kind of attention this is what many people are observing they are saying the bjp is also helping the congress prop up rahul gandhi they want rahul okay. gandhi to be the face of the opposition is that true or false yeah, quickly please, please, quickly please. quickly sanju verma and then sanjay ja final word i'll give you uh, you know uh, anand ji pehle to main congress ko ek hindi ki kahawat suna do bade beabru hokar tere kuche se hum nikle bade beabru hokar tere kuche se hum nikle bahut mere armaan nikle bahut mere armaan nikle lekin fir bhi kuch kam nikle rahul gandhi does not need any external enemies he invalidates himself and his credibility each time he opens his mouth not thinking about what his words uh, could uh, impact hmm. in terms of the congress party's fortunes he so obsessed with this uh, i me myself yeah. syndrome he has forgotten just 10 seconds aaj ki jo na india hai na it does not run from either 12 tugluk lane or from 10 janpat Hmm. आज का जो नया इंडिया है इट डज नॉट इवन रन फ्रॉम सेवन लोक कल्याण मार्ग टूडे द पीपल मैटर द मोस्ट एंड दैट इज वाई नरेंद्र मोदी इज अनबीटेबल वेल द पॉइंट इज यू मे यू मे यू मे स्टैंड एट अ पोजिशन वेर यू बिलीव नरेंद्र मोदी इज अनबीटेबल यू मे हैव नंबर्स टू बैक यू यू मे हैव ट्रेंड्स टू बैक यू यू मे हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ पॉजिस बट द फैक्ट इज दैट यू नीड समबडी इन द ऑपोजिशन अगेंस्ट यू गोट प्ले क्रिकेट इज अ गेम वेर देर आर टू टीम्स देर हैज टू बी टू कैप्टन्स and there are certain plan- there, there are certain there are so nahi. no my point is that this is exactly what is being uh, alleged that somehow you have to make sure that congress no, comes back to being the fulcrum and you are helping the congress party and one face that you you love to berate and it's convenient because the bjp in its dna has, has been coded and engineered to go after the congress party any other party then wo fight ladkhada jata hai sanju sanjay ja final word i've got to wind up please yes Sushil Modi uh, ji will be joining us yeah yeah tell you the truth the mm. truth is that Rahul Gandhi has rattled the BJP mm. ever since he spoke in parliament when he challenged the prime minister Mr no- Mr Narendra Modi on the Adani issue they expunged his remarks he goes to London they make false allegations against him of the fact that he asked for an external intervention then when he comes back to india they want him to apologize he can't speak in parliament number 4 when he has a criminal defamation case they are in a desperate hurry within 24 hours to disqualify him <laughs> so my simple end will be this stop you from going to the court wait just a minute ah. a minute no no no, 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 no please don't please don't please don't please don't please don't itna acha kiya itna acha nahi 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 itna acha kiya sanju ji mat kariye mat kariye na sanju बात करिए मत करिए मत करिए मत करिए संजू जी प्लीज प्लीज मत करिए संजू जी प्लीज संजू जी मत करिए प्लीज मत करिए आई हैव गिव एम संजू जी आई एम गोइंग टू रिक्वेस्ट गिव एम थर्टी सेकेंड प्लीज प्लीज ओके ओनली ओनली लास्ट लाइन विल बी दिस दैट it is it is not this is a prajatantra not a dhantantra hmm. and this is not an amrit ka this is actually mitra yeah, please remember yeah, please remember no 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 one 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 minute okay okay no 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 you have you have curved your you have curved your you have curved your it takes for 21 22 minutes and then you are finally let it go please i have to one i can only say one thing sanjay ji as per the rule book the moment the verdict was pronounced and that he was convicted Mr Rahul Gandhi stands disqualified from there on as per the honorable supreme court's 2013 judgment so whether the lok sabha speaker passed the order today or notification today or he passes it 5 days later he would have still had to date it from the 23rd of march itna to aap bhi jante hai so beyond that it's all politics let it come 
like i said there are people who want rahul gandhi to be the face of the opposition there are those who are saying oh my god he is going to be there it is again and it's going to be modi versus rahul again in 2024 how it works out how it pans out we'll wait and watch but for the moment thank you very much for being such wonderful panelists great debate love to have you on our show thank you, thank you very much namaste and joining us now on that queue ladies and gentlemen is sushil modi the former deputy chief minister of bihar also bjp mp सुशील जी नमस्ते राहुल गांधी जी के डिस्कालीफिकेशन पर आप क्या कहेंगे नहीं देखिए विपक्ष जो प्रचार कर रहा है कि बदले की भावना से कार्रवाई हो रही है जी ये तानाशाही है लोकतंत्र खत्म हो गया इसमें क्या तानाशाही तो कोर्ट का फैसला है तो कोर्ट के फैसले को तो सहर से स्वीकार करना चाहिए था और अगर आपको चैलेंज करना तो आगे के कोर्ट में जाके चैलेंज कीजिए आप लेकिन आप न्यायाधीश के मनशा पर सवाल उठा रहे हैं प्रक्रिया पर सवाल उठा रहे हैं तो क्या अगर आपने पिछड़ा समाज से आने वाले मोदी सरने वाले लाखों करोड़ों लोगों की भावनाओं को आघात पहुंचाया और कोई व्यक्ति कोर्ट में गया तो आपने भी अपनी बात रखी दोनों पक्षों की बात सुनेगा तो कोर्ट ने फैसला दिया है अरे तो देश का कानून कहता है कि अगर दो साल से ज्यादा की सजा होगी तो वह डिस्कालीफाई हो जाएगा और कोई राहुल गांधी पहले व्यक्ति तो नहीं है बिहार में तो लालू प्रसाद यादव बहुत पली डिस्कालीफाई हो चुके हैं जयलिता हुई डिस्कालीफाई और देश में 200 के करीब ऐसे एमएलए एमपी होंगे जो अलग अलग समय में अलग अलग कारणों से जिनको डिस्कालीफाई किया जा चुका है इतनी हाई तो मचाने की क्या जरूरत है आप माफी मांग लिया होते आप आपने तो चौकीदार चोर है इसको कहकर आप चुनाव लड़ने की कोशिश की थी आपने दो के अंदर लेकिन आप फेल कर गए तो न तो जनता की अदालत में आप नरेंद्र मोदी को चुनौती दे पाए और न न्यायपालिका में आप चुनौती दे पाएंगे और देखिए आप को किसी पर भरोसा नहीं है अगर आपके मनोनुकूल फैसला नहीं आता है तो आप न्यायपालिका पर अंगुली उठाते हैं चुनाव हार जाते हैं तो ईवीएम पर अंगुली उठाते हैं मीडिया पर अंगुली उठाते हैं अगर आपको जगह जितनी मिलनी चाहिए आपके अनुसार जगह कम मिलती है तो आप मीडिया पर अंगुली उठाते हैं तो यानी लोकतंत्र और देखिए ये तो राहुल गांधी उस परिवार से आते हैं जिनकी दादी ने इस देश में इमरजेंसी लगाई थी अलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट का फैसला आया डिस्कालीफाई कर दिया उनको और इस्तीफा देने के बजाय इंदिरा जी ने देश में इमरजेंसी घोषित कर दिया था तो वो इंदिरा गांधी वाला जमाना नहीं है अब आपको इस्तीफा देना पड़ेगा और अब तो कानून कहता है कि आप डिस्कालीफाई हैं तो अगर स्पीकर ने फैसला लिया है कानूनी प्रक्रिया का पालन करते हुए इसमें इसमें लोकतंत्र पर कहा खतरा है नहीं इसमें कांग्रेस का आरोप ये है कि जिस शीघ्रता से डिस्कालीफिकेशन नोटिस जारी किया गया वहीं पर है कि ये इस भावना से कि बदले की भावना से क्योंकि आपने संसद को चलने नहीं दिया या जो भी है तो जितना जल्दी हो सके डिस्कालीफिकेशन नोटिस जारी कर दिया जाए यहीं पर आरोप है कि ये वेंडेटा है जल्दबाजी में कहा किया गया कल शाम को दो बजे तीन बजे चार बजे फैसला आया और कानून कहता कि फैसला आते ही, ही स्टैंड डिस्कालीफाइड तो आप तो कल तीन बजे डिस्कालीफाइड हो गए और आप जैसे ही स्पीकर को सूचना मिली और उनको जब भी जानकारी मिली होगी जब भी पेपर्स गए होंगे तो उन्होंने अपने राय लेकर और ये उसको डिस्कालीफाई कर दिया इसमें एक दिन बात करते दो दिन बात करते क्या फर्क पड़ने वाला है लेकिन अगर स्पीकर ने ये तो क्या कानून के विरुद्ध किया है क्या कहीं ये लिखा है क्या की आपको तुरंत फैसला नहीं करना है तीन दिन के बाद करना चार दिन के बाद करना है तो देखिये इनको तो कुछ भी आरोप लगाना है और ये इनको अहंकार है इनको इनकी हेकड़ी जो है इनको लगता है कि हम इस देश पर राज करने के लिए पैदा हुए हैं। नरेंद्र मोदी इज कम फ्रॉम गुजरात एंड इज रूलिंग दिस इज वर्किंग इज सर्विंग दिस कंट्री फॉर द लास्ट नाइन ईयर ये जो मानसिकता है ये जो मानसिकता है कि हम पैदा हुए हैं रूल करने के लिए तो आप कानून से ऊपर नहीं है कानून ने एक न्यायपालिका ने फैसला दिया आपको उसको स्वीकार कर आप चैलेंज कीजिए कोर्ट में सेशंस कोर्ट में जाइए आप हाई कोर्ट में जाइए कोई मना तो नहीं कर रहा अगर आपको राहत मिल जाए तो शायद हो सकता है ये रिवर्ट हो जाए मुझे पता नहीं है बिल्कुल रिवर्ट हो सकता है कि नहीं हो सकता है ट्रू बिकॉज देर आर देर आर केसेज वे रिलीफ हैज बीन गिवन टू अदर्स Uh, it's taken some time, but then they have been reinstated. So that's also happened. But Aapka bhi ek case chal raha hai. You have also filed a case against Rahul Gandhi on the same matter. So are you going to withdraw that case, or are you going to pursue it? If the court says that the it is not required because already has been convicted in one of the cases, 
that is another matter but uh, i have also filed a case and in which uh, rahul gandhi had to come to patna and he and is on bail he hmm. took bail hmm. and the next month on the next date he has to come to patna to record his statement hmm. so i don't know what is the legal procedure but as far as possible i will try to pursue this case but still i can't say hmm. that uh, uh as on today what is the legal position of this case see what what the congress believes that they have said nothing wrong they are saying that rahul gandhi took a few names who were end with modi and he has also drawn a connection with prime minister narendra modi so where is the reference to the entire community on the whole that's their point of view see i don't know what statement is given in the court but once rahul gandhi has to apologize in the supreme court when he said that uh, uh, चौकीदार चोर है द सेम राहुल गांधी ही सेट कोर्ट भी मानते हैं कि चौकीदार चोर है इशू लाइक अ करप्शन इशू लाइक दिस ओनली ये टू अपोलोजाइज तो राहुल गांधी को लगता है मैं कुछ बोलकर निकल जाऊंगा मैं भी आप चुनाव जीत नहीं पाए अमेठी से आपको छोड़ के जाना पड़ा आप हार गए चुनाव वायनाड चले गए कांग्रेस की हालत यहां तक पहुंच गई मेघालय में नहीं जीत मेघालय में बहुत कम सीट जीत पाए त्रिपुरा में आप वाइप आउट हो गए या नागालैंड के अंदर एक सीट नहीं जीत पाए उस फ्रस्ट्रेशन को उस गुस्से को उतारे नरेंद्र मोदी पर और हुँ. उस समय 2019 में आपने क्या कहा कहा कि सारे मोदी चोर हैं और हुँ. आपने अपना आर्ग्यू किया लेकिन दोनों पक्ष के आर्ग्यू के बाद कोर्ट का फैसला है ना जी. मुझे पता नहीं कि व्हाट वाज द आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड व्हाट यू इन द कोर्ट बट वट एवर आर्ग्यू ही आर्ग्यू इन द कोर्ट बट अल्टीमेटली कोर्ट विच डिसाइडेड द केस इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट दैट नरेंद्र मोदी हैज डिसाइडेड द केस it is the uh, it is the court which, which is given its judgment right you should honor the judgment and you can go in the appeal that remedy is there with you hmm. but you can't blame the court that every time the judges are being transferred hmm. and you are casting aspersion uh, on the integrity of the court of the judges so hmm. this is not, not good for the democracy but ahead of 2024 sushil modi ji may i ask you this is the bjp also trying to prop up rahul gandhi as the main face of the opposition ये तो वो लोग बोल रहे हैं जो राहुल गांधी के विरोधी हैं टुडे अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज इशूड स्टेटमेंट इन फेवर ऑफ राहुल गांधी बट विल विल राहुल गांधी एंड ममता बनर्जी विल अलाइन विद राहुल गांधी इन द नेक्स्ट असेंबली इलेक्शंस सो गिविंग अ स्टेटमेंट इज वन थिंग इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ऑल द ऑफिशियल विल कम टुगेदर एंड इवन इफ दे कम टुगेदर सपोज इट इज हाइपर इवन इफ दे सब कम टुगेदर देन नरेंद्र मोदी एंड बीजेपी इज अलोन able to fight with these elements hmm. because what we work for the people of this country and we are we are, we are confident hmm. that people will give us vote on our work not on all these petty things on small things do, do you see rahul gandhi being eligible or ready to contest in 2024 what happens with wayanad should there be by polls immediately if you take time then they say what you're taking so much of time a few do If the red was a red on Thursday's house on Sunday, they are saying why they are red on Sunday. If it is on Monday, why is Mangalwar Hanuman Ji ka din hai? Why they are red on Mangalwar? So everything, anything you do, they are not going to praise, and we are not. We also know that they are not going to praise BJP, and they will always find some fault in any of the judgment. They will they, even after two days, if the speaker takes a decision, hmm. and why they will take two two days when already the law is very clear. Even Kapil Sibal has said. even the mess jet panel all the legal experts we, uh, whose opinion mm. is up in the newspapers all of them have said these things so where is the question of uh, where is the question of uh, very quick judgment and why is taken decision so quickly mm. so i don't know what the election commission will do it all depends Jee. on the election commission ji social moji ji thank you for your time so you're saying you would like to pursue the case but we'll have to wait when the next date comes up and rahul gandhi has to present himself in patna for that matter and we'll see what the court has to say then thank you very much